This is an old story, but it reminds us of the surprises we can get when even a small number like two is multiplied by itself many times. King Sharam of India was so pleased when his grand vizier Sisa Bendar presented him with the game of chess that he asked Bendar to name his own reward. The request was so modest that the happy king immediately complied. What the grand vizier had asked was this, that one grain of wheat be placed on the first square of the chessboard, two grains on the second square, four on the third, eight on the fourth, 16 on the fifth square, and so on, doubling the amount of wheat on each succeeding square until all 64 squares were accounted for. When the king's steward had gotten to the 17th square, the table was well filled. By the 26th square, the chamber held considerable wheat, and a nervous king ordered the steward to speed up the count. When 42 squares were accounted for, the palace itself was swamped. Now fit to be tied, King Sharam learns from the court mathematician that had the process continued, the wheat required would have covered all India to a depth of over 50 feet. Incidentally, laying this many grains of wheat end to end also does something rather spectacular. They would stretch from the earth, beyond the sun, past the orbits of the planets, far out across the galaxy to the star Alpha Centauri, four light years away. They would then stretch back to Earth, back to Alpha Centauri, and back to the Earth again. 